Hi, welcome to Simply Country Cuisine. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to incorporate a half a stick of butter and uh, a three quarters of a cup of firmly packed brown sugar in my stand mixer. So let me come over to the stand mixer. Put a half a cup, which is one stick of salted butter in the stand mixer with three quarters of a cup of firmly packed brown sugar. Now I'm going to let the mixer work for me. And while the mixer is incorporating the butter and the brown sugar, I am adding to a cup and a fourth of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarters of, of a cup of graham crackers crumb. Now we'll just mix this together and we're going to add it slowly to our creamed butter and brown sugar. Let me scrape down the sides of this. Oh, that's real good. Oh, and I forgot, I did forget to tell you, make sure your butter is at room temperature. All right, I'm going to add one large egg. Remember, always crack it in a little dish first because you don't want to get shell into your uh, dessert. So put the large egg in, a teaspoon of vanilla. Now let's incorporate this. Now I'm going to do this slowly. I'm going to add my dry ingredients. Now I've added the, the graham, cracker crust, uh, graham cracker crumbs to the flour, the salt, and the baking soda on a very slow mix. Now while that's mixing together, I've gone ahead and put a piece of parchment on my baking sheet. My oven is set to 350, and I'm going to use my cookie scoop, but then I'm going to roll scoop into a ball, and then I'm going to roll the uh, ball into some more graham cracker crumbs. I suppose this is going to give us the outside of the cheesecake cook. So now I am going to scoop all of this dough into the center of my bowl and use my scoop. I have about an inch size cookie ball here. Roll it around and then I'm rolling it in the graham crackers. Placing it on my cookie sheet. Don't overload your cookie scoop for this one. I'm only going to put six on this cookie sheet. This recipe makes about 12 cookies uh, and I'll do up another batch of cookies. Um, they specified only putting six on here. I think they must really span out a little bit. Okay, now we're going to put it in the oven, and these are going to bake 12 to 13 minutes. Now remember, I have a convection oven, so I'm going to take them out at 12 minutes. Then we're going to take the spoon, and we're going to press it down in the cookie and make a well, and then we'll have some filling made up. So we'll do that while the cookies are baking. All right. So while these are baking, remember when I told you you're going to make a well in the cookie, well, we're going to use four ounces of softened room temperature cream cheese. So that would be half of a brick, a half, a half a cup of powdered sugar, and about half a teaspoon of vanilla. Now remember, I'm going to hand mix this one with my hand mixer. I always like to begin it with a spatula because I don't like to throw the powdered sugar around. Now I'm going to use my hand mixer to mix this together. All right, now when the cookies come out, we'll let them cool for a second or two. Then we're going to dent the cookies with the spoon and we're gonna add a dollop of the cream cheese mixture. And I have loosened some strawberry jam in the microwave. I'm gonna put a little of that in there, but I also am gonna put just a tad of strawberry pie filling in it just to give it a little bit more strawberry look more like the top of a pie. All right now they've come out of the oven I'm going to take this spoon and just press a well while they're soft. In about five or six minutes when they cooled so we can put the cream cheese and the jam in it. All right now these have cooled 
and I have, I went and got some throwaway spoons. I'm going to just take a little dollop of the cream cheese, put in the center. And I kind of went a step further. I took the pie filling and mixed a little bit with the strawberry jam. So I'll just scoop out one of the strawberries and just kind of set it right on top. And there you have it. It's a strawberry cheesecake cookie. Okay, now we're going to try one of these cherry cheesecake cookies. Or should I got a napkin? Well, they're good. I don't think it really tastes like a cheesecake. All right, hang on a second. I'm going to have Mark come over and take a bite. Do you think it tastes like cheesecake? Mm, but it's good. But it doesn't really taste too much like a cheesecake, though, does it? It has the components of the cheesecake. That's like cookie with a good... A creamy, creamy center. Cherry on top. Mm -hmm. Strawberry. It's strawberry. Bite. All right, well, there you have it. Strawberry cheesecake cookies. And always remember to subscribe, like, and share our videos to be alerted on Wednesdays for the uh, newest, newest video. And on Thursdays, we have contest Thursdays on Facebook. Always remember, if you don't have a place to worship, any GT Glad Tidings Church in Central Texas, we have five churches. And please come and join us. We would love to have you. God bless and have a wonderful day.